Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about heat content or enthalpy of a system. Just like internal energy and entropy, enthalpy is also a very important property of a system. It tells us whether a reaction is endothermic or exothermic. So in this video, we are going to see what enthalpy actually is, its mathematical derivation and some formulas related to it. So let's start. Every substance or a system has certain quantity of internal energy as well as it undergoes pressure volume work done. So every substance or a system has internal energy, it does pressure volume work done, that is also a form of energy. So this fact necessitates to introduce a new thermodynamic variable that is called enthalpy. So enthalpy, enthalpy of a system is defined as the thermodynamic quantity that relates that relates internal energy and pressure volume work done it is denoted by it is denoted by H. So this is the definition of enthalpy. It is simply a thermodynamic variable that relates internal energy and pressure volume work done of the system. Now let's see its mathematical derivation. Most of the experiments are carried out in the lab at constant pressure rather than at constant volume because it is difficult to maintain constant volume. Similarly, most of the chemical reactions are accompanied by change in volume as well as internal energy. Let's understand that by an example. Suppose we have a bucket like this and in that there is some volume of water. The volume of water is V, the internal energy of the water is E. Now we provide heat energy to this water, then what will happen? The volume will increase as well as the internal energy will increase. So here in this particular case, the heat energy supplied is being utilized for two works that is increase in volume that is for work done as well as increase in internal energy. So in this particular case, the first law of thermodynamics can be applied over here that is from first law of thermodynamics we can write that dq is equal to de plus p d v this is the first law of thermodynamics let us consider it to be the equation number one where where this dq is infinitesimal change in heat that is infinitesimal amount of heat supplied d e is equal to infinitesimal change in internal energy internal energy or simply we can say that this is the infinitesimal increased in internal energy of the water and dv is equal to infinitesimal change in volume that is infinitesimal increase in volume at constant constant pressure okay now at constant pressure this equation can be written as at constant pressure this equation can be written as dqt is equal to de plus p d v this is equation number two so as P is written here as a base, that means this reaction is happening at constant pressure. So this is how much we got. Now let me erase this portion for further calculation. We can write that dE is equal to E2 minus E1 and dV is equal to V2 minus V1. Here V1 and E1 
are the volume and internal energy at initial condition with the heat energy were not supplied to the system and E2 and V2 are the volume and internal energy of the system when the heat energy has been applied that means the higher values or initial state has V1 and E1 final state has E2 and V2. So we can put these values over here equation 2 becomes dqp is equal to e2 minus e1 plus p v2 minus v1 and it can further be written as e2 minus e1 plus p v2 minus p v1 right now we can write these two as the these two as together e2 plus p v2 we can take minus common between these two and it will be e1 plus p v1 so dqp will be equal to this much here we see that e p and v that is internal energy pressure and volume are state functions state functions what is the meaning of state functions state functions are those thermodynamic variable that do not depend on the path that means they only depend on the initial state and final state and internal energy pressure as well as volume are the state function so e plus pv is a state function this whole quantity is a state function and this quantity is itself called the enthalpy therefore e plus pv is called enthalpy enthalpy of a system as this relation includes internal energy and pressure volume work done so this whole quantity is called the enthalpy of a system now let's see what we get further let me erase this much if h1 is equal to e1 plus p v1 and h2 is equal to e2 plus p v2 then then this equation can be written as uh, d q p will be equal to h2 minus h1 right this can further be written as d q p is equal to uh, d h right this is for the infinitesimal change but for finite change this expression can be written as qp is equal to del h now this is for the finite change so what do we see over here the change in enthalpy of a system is equal to the heat energy gained by the system at constant pressure but what if the system absorbs heat at constant volume let's see that once at constant volume at constant volume q v will be equal to dqv will be equal to from first law of thermodynamics it will be de plus p into zero that means at constant volume the value of dv will be zero so it will be de so dqv will be equal to de this is for infinitesimal change for finite change it can be written as qv is equal to daily so what do we see from here at constant volume the heat energy gained will be used only to increase the internal energy of the system so this is what the meaning of enthalpy actually is now let's see a very important formula or you can simply say the relation between qp and qv that is also very important for many numerical problems as well to get the relation between qp and qv we need to write the expression of qp and qv we know that at at constant pressure qp is equal to del h right similarly at constant volume qv is equal to del e we already know this form and we know the formula of enthalpy as well we know del h is equal to how much del e plus 
P del V, right? This is the formula of change in enthalpy. Obviously, this can be written as del E is del E plus P V two minus V one. Now let's multiply. It will be P V two minus P V one, right? Del E plus. Now we know that according to ideal gas equation. PV is equal to N R T, right? So PV one can be written as N one R T, and PV two can be written as N two R T. So let's put these values over here. So PV two means N two R T minus N one R T. If we take common, then what do we get? R T N two minus N one, and finally it will be equal to del E plus. Del N R T and it can further be written as as del H is equal to Q P and del E is equal to Q V. Then this can be written as Q P is equal to Q E plus del N R T. So this is one of the most important formula in thermodynamics, and this formula is used to solve a lot of numerical problems as well. Now this is the relation between Q P and Q E. That is the heat energy absorbed at constant pressure and heat energy absorbed at constant volume. Now let's see some condition that are associated with this particular formula. The first condition is what if the re reaction happens at constant at constant volume? What if the reaction happens at constant volume? Then we can see from here. According to this form of this formula, at constant volume, del V will be equal to zero. Then what can be right? Del H is equal to del E, right? That means the change in enthalpy will be equal to change in internal energy. In number two, what if the reaction involves solid and liquid as reactant and produ product? For solid and liquid as reactants and products products if the reactant and product are solid and liquid then obviously there won't be any change in volume that means or simply you can say that change in volume is almost zero so in this particular case del v is equal to zero therefore what do we get here if the del v is equal to 0 so obviously del h will be equal to del e so in this particular case as well the change in enthalpy will be equal to the change in internal energy finally when when the number of moles of reactant and products products are same what if we have a condition in which the reactant and product are gases but their number of mole that is the number of mole of reactant and product are same an example of that is h2 plus cl2 gives hcl if we balance it we need to put 2 over here so there is 1 plus 1 2 mole of reactant and there is 2 mole of Product as well. In this particular case, this del del n value will be zero. So in this particular case, will del h will be equal to del e as well. So in this case as well, the change in enthalpy will be equal to the change in internal energy. So in this case, the change in enthalpy and change in internal energy are same. So in this video, we learned what enthalpy actually is. Its mathematical derivation, its formula, right? And the relation that is very important in case of enthalpy and certain condition related to it that's all in this video i hope you understood everything about this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video